Hi, my name is Contessa and I'm a CHT in Ohio. And I initially read about the SIMS technique when I was studying for my CHT exam in 2005. I had a few patients over the years that just didn't seem to res be responding to my typical go-tos. And I tried implementing some of these concepts on the patients, but I used uh, thermoplast and I didn't really have a protocol to follow um, at the time to make uh, any headway with my patients. However, most recently, um, some colleagues of mine were doing a webinar with Dr. Lalonde and Robin Midgley, and that caught my attention. So I did the webinar and found that the flexor tendon rehab was quite interesting, but also with the use of SIMS with that kind of intrigued me as to all the different ways that SIMS could be used. I love to learn and challenge myself to be a better therapist every day, so I sought out more information from Robin on what would be the next step in learning this technique, what resources were available to do that, and she actually contacted me directly, which I was impressed with. One-on-one um, -on -one interaction, I think, is very important uh, for communication, so I was impressed, and we were able to actually talk through Zoom uh, the same day. She filled me in on her course options and the learning and the modules and the mentoring sessions, the Facebook page, the monthly meetings, and I jumped on board. So uh, within a week of the webinar for the Flexor Tendon, Wallant, and Sims class, I signed up for the Sims module. In my outpatient setting where I work, I encounter a lot of different diagnoses and we cover a very large service area. So I felt that this course could help me in a variety of ways with my caseload in treating patients who have stiff hands, but also in helping to prevent them. Uh, we do get one on one mentoring sessions with Robin in this course, and I'm using actually my third one tomorrow. And when we do those, Robin engages through Zoom with myself and my patient. And I, I feel like that has really helped the patients understand that I'm learning and that I'm doing as much as I can to try to help them. But it also is a good learning experience for me um, too. And, and she does do a good job of interacting with the patient, um, making them trust me, but also trust the, the technique. Uh, the technique I feel has so many facets and the ability to make the correct decisions on when to change the cast, how to change the cast, and timing. It's all imperative to the success of this um, technique. And mentoring is 100% necessary for this because as you know, uh, working with patients, not everything is a protocol. So the decision-making process is something that takes some input from someone with experience. I am only one month into the program, and so I'm relying heavily on those mentoring sessions, the Facebook sharing community. There's also um, monthly recorded meetings for the Sims Club, and also previous presentations um, on the Sims technique that other students have done in the past. All of those are helping me try to hone in my decision-making skills and definitely add to my learning. I've found that Robin is easily accessible and does engage in the cases shared on that online group, which I think is important because three one-on-one -on -one sessions is, is just not enough um, for this technique. So it's good to have access to insight from other students, but also Robin in that social media um, world. I am excited to see how my patients progress through this program, and I look forward to continue learning from the interaction with both Robin and the Sims community to hone in my um, use of this technique and help more patients.